Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Madden 20 Top 10 Plays of the Week. Catch me if you can, says Cole Hardman to the New England Patriots, and they're not going to get it done. The rookie speedster gets away. If you guys want to have nice stick work like Cole Hardman and everybody else in this countdown, you definitely want to get yourself a Scuff Gaming Controller. The link to the Scuff Gaming Store will be in the comment section below, and as always, you can use code COOKIEBOY for a discount as Hollywood Brown spinning and winning. The Cleveland Browns are normally the opponent for this Cincinnati Bengals right now it's the Hollywood Brown that's taking them down as we go to play number eight Russell Wilson is about to do his normal Russell Wilson thing getting away from a should be sack keeping his eyes downfield letting it fly but watch out this is caught by Tyreek Hill throwing Kikui to the ground swerving the last man and scoring the what really should not have been touchdown but of course russell wilson and tyree kill can make magic happen as we watch lamar whoop jackson whoop breaking ankles oh lamar so saucy yet making it look so easy as we get to our first honorable mention of the countdown it'll involve baker mayfield and odell beckham jr oh no obj drops them all down and he's gonna let them know about it the bodies are so far back that obj celebrates from the 20 as we get back to the countdown it's play number six right before the end of the first half joe Mixon trying to put together a miracle return and he's off to a great start gotta get by this year and he does Joe Mixon on the final play of the first half scores the touchdown and gives his squad the lead tip your cap to that man as we get to play number five Lamar Jackson back at it oh no yes he's gotten away from Donald and Epucom and Hagger and now looking up Phil Weddle doesn't stand a chance Lamar Jackson's gonna do it! He's gonna score the touchdown! Lamar Jackson makes so many great plays in Madden 20, yet every once in a while you'll find one of those plays that makes you go, WOW! Just like Eric Dickerson jumping over a human being and, and doing whatever that is! And scoring the touchdown! Okay! He was taunting. He surely looked like he was going to fumble the ball, but it's Eric Dickerson on fire in Madden 20. So he scored the touchdown. And this is Lamar Jackson in Madden 20. So no one's going to bring him down. Lamar Jackson all the way for our second honorable mention of the countdown. As we get deep into the countdown, it's play number three. And once again, Russell Wilson is going to pull a how in the world did he get out of that and find a man downfield? It's Tyler Lockett on third and 42 for the touchdown. Yeah, I don't know what Russell Wilson's doing, but it's working. As we get to play number two, Derrick Henry is on fire. They cannot even get close to bringing him down. King Henry doing his thing in the rain. As we get to the number one play of the week, Randall Cunningham in Superstar KO. In trouble momentarily using that escape artist to his advantage. Swerving Clark and now looking upfield. Randall's feeling it. He's swerving. Whoop! He's breaking ankles and he's scoring the number one play of the week. Rumbling Randall. Wow. Yeah, let's say wow once again right on cue as Dickerson jumps over a man. And we get ready for some squads top 10. Now let's saddle up and get going again for the squads portion of top 10 plays of the week. Starting off with Peyton Manning looking downfield. He wants Jerry Rice. What a connection that is. But unfortunately for the Steelers, they find Trey Flowers, who plays for the defense that already has a 21 point lead. And they're looking for more Flowers. Unnecessary juke. Doesn't matter. He's still got the wheels. He's still got the blocks to go all the way coast to coast as we go to play number nine clipping it i'm there oh intercepted by Derwin james the enforcer in the secondary oh i'm clipping it i'm clipping it i'm clipping it i'm clipping it it's a clip that's a clip clutch 
Be quiet! Quit! 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 Yeah, clip it, because you can make top 10 plays of the week if you clip your play. That's the way this works. All these plays are fan-submitted plays. You just got to submit your play in the email in the description below. Well, obviously, you got to clip your play to have a chance, just like these boys did with Lamar Jackson. And Lamar's going to break the tackle, and he's got the wheels. The silver bullet, the five. He's dancing into the end zone to extend the Raiders' lead as we go to play number seven. One tip about top 10 plays of the week, the score doesn't entirely really matter if you're swagging if you're making a top play you make the countdown Mello still with Lala make it oh my what a fucking play that's cookie boy regardless of the score that was fucking nuts I got you man I got you in yeah apparently Mello is still with Lala the more you know I suppose as we go to play number six it's not a punt it's a fake oh Emmett with the juke with the swerve add insult to injury these boys are extending the lead as we go to play number five how sweet it is to use Walter Payton to have this man as your running back in Madden 20 watch sweetness swerve Darwin doesn't stand a chance in the open field Walter all the way give them the lead as we go to play number four the spinning fireball that is Eric Dickerson is ready to take the field look at him accelerate but he's in a bind how do we get out of this one a spin move the wrong way now we're going the right way calvin johnson eat my dust eric dickerson the most dominant back in Madden 20 yet again as we go to play number three and superstar ko it's all about saquon barkley in the backfield juking around he's got the first down keeping his balance throwing down bosa and everybody else behind him saquon barkley away from his former teammate landon collins and in the end zone as we go to play number two here comes well, not the Seattle Seahawks, but it's going to be off the deflection night training lane. Off the head of Sean Taylor, and now Dick Lane with the ball, with the juke, with the blocks, and with the speed on the final play of the first half. Ride the night train for six as we go to the number one play of the week. It's the final play of regulation, but probably not the game in the Super Bowl unless Devin Hester gets sticky. Shades of Volterax, the former Madden champion in the E-League. It's Hester, final block delivered and scoring the game-winning touchdown as time expires out of the Wildcat. We call it the Volterax because he waited before he made his move. He was patient and he delivered. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. Subscribe for more Man 20 Top 10 Plays of the Week, and I will catch you guys next time.